subsets of real numbers. What are they and what does that mean? Well, our goal for this lesson is to know what the subs know the subsets of real numbers and to be able to determine which subset of the real number a particular number belongs to. So there's a little pun here that goes along with it. You'll get it after a while. Um, it's the letter I and the, and the or the number I technically and the number pi um, talking to each other like that. Well, um, first of all, a subset is really just a category. A subset is a category of the real number. So it, all the real numbers that you work with that you've, that you've ever seen go into categories. So we have five of them here. We have natural numbers, there's rational numbers, there's integers, there's whole numbers, there's irrational numbers. We got to know what those are. So let's just start off with the first one, which is rational numbers. Rational numbers are the ones that you've done the most with in your entire life. They're called counting numbers. So in other words, we have one, two, three, and so forth. These are called counting numbers. They start with one and they go up. All right, the next one we're going to talk about is the next category that's going to build off of natural numbers um, is whole numbers, whole numbers you've worked with. Whole numbers are actually natural numbers plus one more thing. Just adding zero to it. Zero, one, two, three, and so forth. So it's natural numbers and zero. That's the only difference. Next one is, what are we going to do next? Is integers. Integers. It's pronounced, not pronounced integers, it's pronounced integers. And integers are well, you could guess they are going to include all the whole numbers. Um, but they're also going to include negatives. So we're going to go like negative 2 would be included, negative 1 and 0, and all the positive natural numbers. Oops, that should be a 2. So uh, net are whole numbers and negative whole numbers. All right, next one we'll bring down is, and actually I'm going to bring all of this up a little bit, is rational numbers. So all of these numbers that have to do with natural, whole numbers, integers, natural numbers include all of those. And um, this little saying that I think of, rational is fractional. So anything that can make it be made into a fraction. Um, so it could be a fraction, one half. It could be a decimal, 0.75, because that can be made into a fraction. It could be a whole, a negative number. It could be zero. It could be a whole number. So they're all the integers and fractions and decimals. Decimals. I can't write. Decimals. That says decimals. All right. So they're all numbers that make sense to us. Now I'm going to draw a barrier here because the last one that we have to do is irrational numbers. And the reason there's a barrier is because you can't be both rational and irrational. All the numbers above are rational numbers. All the numbers below, this only this is the only category, is going to be the irrational. Irrational are things that can't be written as a fraction. Can't be. Um, terminating decimals. They are numbers that go on forever with no pattern. So for instance, a common one is the number pi. Um, you take the square root of a, a number that's not a perfect square. So we know that like the square root of 4 is 2, but we don't know what the square root of 5 is because that's going to just be a decimal that goes on forever. The square root of 2 is going to be irrational. So there are these numbers that just go on forever. All right. Um, Never-ending decimals. With no pattern.
So there's your list of all the real numbers, the four types, five types actually. Those are the, cat, the subsets of all the real numbers. Those are worth noting. And I want to show you in one different way to write it. Instead of a list, you could write it in this diagram that I, that I like. Um, and it shows the difference between um, we have our rational over on the left and we have our irrational over on the right. Irrational are those weird ones that just go on with no pattern. Um, all the rational numbers are in their subsets, the under categories, um, including natural numbers. And the natural numbers are part of whole numbers, so they're inside of the whole number category. Whole numbers, natural numbers are part of integers, so they're all inside of the integers category. Oops. And all three of those are in the rational category, so that all of these things on the left are ration, rational numbers. So a couple examples real quick. To which subsets do the, do the real numbers um, of the real numbers does each number belong? So 15. If you look back, 15 is just a counting number. It would be a natural number, but it also is part of the whole number. It's also part of the integers number. It's also part of the rational number. So I think it works for all of those. Natural numbers, whole numbers, integers, rational numbers, all of those it fits into. Negative 1.4583. So it's definitely not a natural number or a whole number or an integer because those don't include decimals. It does end, so I think it's just a rational number. It's just a decimal in that rational number category. All right, it's a terminating decimal. There you go. Square root of 57. Take your calculator and find the square root of 57. It's going to be a never-ending decimal, so that's irrational. All right? So why don't you take a look at these four and see if you can tell me what category each of those goes to. All right, so B3, uh, A is uh, going to actually, the square root of 9 is um, 3, so that's going to be all above. That's natural, natural, whole, integer, and rational. Um, B3 tenths, that's a fraction, so it's, ra it's rational. Rational is fractional. Um, C is negative 0.45. That can be made into a fraction, so that's rational as well. And then D is going to be a never-ending, no-pattern decimal if you type it into your calculator, and that is irrational. So that's our lesson on uh, subsets of real numbers. So take note of those uh, goals and look over your notes.